Appify adds several dynamic features to everyday spreadsheets. This is a mortgage refinance comparison spreadsheet, and like most spreadsheets, users can type in any cell they can click. With Appify, users can only change input cells. Appify adds navigation to our ribbon tab. Appify adds intuitive pop-up user entry forms. And conditional formatting to charts so we can highlight good and bad results. We can expand and restore charts. Double-clicking pivot charts drills down to the supporting data. Appify adds model scaling, allowing us to extend items such as number of loans and periods. Appify provides menu options to display copyright information, link to external user documentation, and link to support websites. To make the magic happen, after loading our spreadsheet, we bring in our add-in just as we would any Excel add-in. When Appify loads, it looks for its configuration worksheet, ACTS. It asks to add ACTS when not found. Worksheet ACTS contains a handful of tables we use to configure Appify. Let us start with navigation. This model has three worksheets. We want users to access inputs and outputs, but not processes. Our model's inputs worksheet has three input tables we want users to access with pop-up entry forms. The first contains our model's basic assumptions. The second contains our loan instances. And the third contains our units of measure. If our users want to compare more loans, we will need more rows in our loan instance table and more rows in our process table to accommodate the number of loans and periods. We can conditionally format our charts and pivot tables to highlight problems. In this case, our customer has indicated their budget can only support payments totaling $135,000 over the period they intend to keep their house. When a chart bar exceeds that amount, we want it to glow red. We will do the same thing for our pivot table. We're done, so let's test things. We first check that our cursor control keeps users out of formulas. We next test our navigation. Now we test our pop-up data entry. Our conditional formatting is working. We can expand and restore charts. We can drill down into our chart bars. We can test that our model will expand to accommodate more loans. And there is our seventh loan, so let's enter its loan's properties. We can click the About button to see our copyright information. We can click our Guide button to link to our user documentation. And we can click our Website button to go to our support site. Check the link below this video to get your free copy of Appify.